What is the best lens for the golf course, you ask? Well, that's a great question, and Eyeglass Tyler here from SportRx to help you find the best lens for your golf sunglasses that are gonna help improve your game. When it comes to choosing the right golf lenses, the name of the game is contrast enhancement. So we're gonna go over some different colors to look out for that'll be ideal for the sport and uh, hopefully find what'll work best for you in the conditions in which you normally play. So ideally by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what to get for the next pair on the golf course. First off, brown lenses. Really good kind of generic color. You're gonna find your browns, your bronze, your coppers. Good for really bright light conditions, a little bit denser of a tint, and it's gonna help, like I said, to enhance contrast. You're gonna be able to read the green a little better, depth perception cues, uh, read the fairway a little bit better, and just tracking that ball, being able to, to spot and track the ball, it's gonna pop a little bit better. An amber tint is gonna let more light through. It's not quite as dense of a tint, so it's gonna let more light through the lens, which might be ideal for you if you tend to golf in cloudy or more overcast conditions. It's gonna let you still see while enhancing contrast while making that ball pop, kind of similar to what you get with the brown, little bit different color enhancement, but overall a similar uh, perception of color, but just really much better in lower light conditions. And rose copper is actually my favorite tint color, uh, not just for golf, but actually across the board, it tends to be a favorable tint color for many sports. So if you're a multi-sport uh, individual then rose copper might be a really awesome lens color for you it's not quite as dense as a brown but it is denser than the amber so it's going to be more in the middle but still good for bright light conditions but it lets more light through than your dark brown uh, but obviously less light through than the amber it's going to just help to make colors pop that much more just more vivid color perception with the rose copper than with your ambers and with your browns. So I really like it, especially for reading the greens, helps to pull reds and yellows out from green just to make it that much more vivid. So better for reading the contours and the breaks and the grain, just everything about this lens tint, I'm a big fan of. So tints that we tend to not recommend much for the sport are your grays and your green, like G15, your gray green colors, just because they don't tend to help when it comes to making it easier to spot and track the ball, boosting these colors like we're talking about to be able to read the terrain better. You're not getting that with the grays and the gray greens and that G15. Uh, you're getting a much more neutral color perception, which is great for blocking excess light. If you're light sensitive, grays are good because it's gonna main, mean less light is making it to your eyes, but overall, no real benefit to the sport. And going into lens features, uh, talking mirror coatings and polarize. When it comes to a mirror coating, I like a mirror coating. If you don't know what that is, it's a coating applied to the front side of the lens. It helps reflect more light back. That means less light's making it through the lens. It also helps with the thing that I call ambient glare. Uh, that's really just light coming in at harsh angles will reflect more readily off of that mirror coating. And that tends to be less usable light anyway. So it's good to kind of get rid of that. And on top of all that, some people think mirrors look cool and I tend to agree with them. So there's another plus. When it comes to polarized, I don't recommend it, generally speaking. Some people wear it and are fine with it. As a general rule, I like to avoid it because the benefit of polarized, the function of polarized is that it cuts glare bouncing off of other objects. What it can also do is affect your depth perception negatively. Obviously, that's a bad thing. Also, there's not a huge benefit to polarized. There's not a lot of glare coming off of grass and dirt and rocks and trees. Maybe you have an argument if you're talking water, but for the most part, I don't think that the pros outweigh the cons when it comes to polarized lenses. 
So while I've covered more generic tint colors, like I said, your browns, your rose copper, that you can get in just about every frame, there are some options out there as well that are more sport specific, proprietary to brands, uh, tint technologies like Oakley's Prism, for instance. I always like to point to them because they have actually a golf, they have two golf specific tint technologies. There's the original Prism Golf, fantastic lens, and then there's the Prism Dark Golf for brighter conditions. So what you're gonna get with these is just that much better edge on color enhancement. They're gonna fine tune the colors, really hone in on specific colors that are known to be favorable for the sport and actually turn down colors that are known to be less favorable to the sport. And there are lots of options out there. I'm a big fan of Prism, so you should definitely check those out. Another thing to note is prescription. I need prescription. Why would I not talk about prescription? We love you if you need prescription. We love you if you don't. We just love you in general. But all of these can be done in prescription. These tint colors that I'm talking about, even Prism, which I'm a huge fan of. Oakley is awesome with making just about every one of their frames available in prescription and their special tint technologies, both Prism Golf and Prism Dark Golf available in prescription. If you need help with that, call us at SportRx. We have opticians that are seasoned and love talking about prescription and even non-prescription if you wanna chat and we're gonna help you through that order process for sure. And that pretty well wraps up what I think you should consider when looking for the best lens for your golf sunglasses. To summarize, contrast is king. Make sure you have something that's gonna help boost contrast, keep it tracking the ball, reading the greens, whether it be you know one of the more generic tints or the sport specific tint technologies that are proprietary to brands. There are a lot of good options out there for you. Mirror, our, uh, mirror coatings are great. Definitely consider that. Try to avoid polarized, uh, leave it up to you, but you've heard my speech on that, so keep that in mind. Hopefully you can take what you've learned from this to find the best pair for you. Again, contact us at SportRx if this is overwhelming to you at all, because we would love to talk to you and help you through that process. And you don't have to worry about getting anything from us because we have our see better guarantee. You're never stuck with something you don't like. We're gonna make sure that you're happy at the end of the day. That's all that we care about. Thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully this information was valuable or at least interesting to you. Whoop, throw us a thumbs up, why not? We would appreciate it for sure. Uh, links down below with other related videos because we have a lot of good content that is related to this that we think could help you. So definitely check those out. You can also check us out on all the social media platforms at SportRx, we have good stuff there too. So why not check us out? And again, if this was interesting to you, we have much more like this. And if you subscribe, you're gonna hear about it first. So I'd encourage you to do so. Thank you so much for watching.